hey guys what's going on it's your girl chin welcome back to my channel before i get into my part two of my story don't forget to like share and subscribe turn your notification bell on so you can know when your girl uploading another video let's get into this video now every single day i'm gonna make So on April 29th, to that an appointment downtown, the morning I got up, it was a good morning, you know, I had, I was just in good spirits overall, you know, got the kids ready, dropped them off, I had a few errands to run, I did that, went out to lunch with hubby and all that good stuff, got home, got dressed, went to my meeting. When I got to the meeting, I realized that the meeting is on the 19th floor of this building. And anybody that knows me knows I do not, I repeat, I do not like elevators. Got in the elevator, went up to the 19th floor. I was there for maybe about an hour. That was, we were standing outside having a little bit of a conversation. Anyways, I had us to go pick up. Uh, a package from the post office so I was trying to get make it there before it closed got in the elevator on my way down I was the only person in this elevator for some reason like there was maybe like 10 other people that were also in the meeting and nobody decided to go in the elevator everybody decided that they were gonna stay back and chat for a little bit but anyways I had errands to run so I had was to go got in the elevator on the 19th floor hit the lobby button right after I hit the lobby button I just felt like I was floating and when I realized it was the elevator free falling with me now everything flashed my entire life flashed before my eyes I started thinking about my family, my kids being so young, you know, all that good stuff. Like, I thought I was going to die. I mean, this is something that you will see on a movie or in a movie or on TV. You don't see or hear about elevators free falling in real life. Anyways, I don't know what happened, but I guess God was on my side because the elevator stopped suddenly in between the 10th and the 11th floor. There was about this much opening. And when it fell, I remember being thrown up in the air and then down on the ground. And then I think I might, I might have passed out for a few minutes because I don't remember anything else apart from when the elevator started free falling and then when I got thrown up in the air I don't remember anything else from that woke up when I woke up I remember I had my bag around me and I had my work phone in one hand and my personal phone I think my personal phone was in my pocket or was it the other way around whichever one anyways I had the two cell phones on me um when I came to and I opened my eyes, my right leg was literally wrapped up under my body. And everybody knows that I'm a big girl. My leg was wrapped up under my body and I was in excruciating pain. Let me tell you, this pain, I swear to God, I will have a child without pain meds every single day for the rest of my life rather than dealing with that pain that I felt at that given moment and then when I noticed the call button for the elevator is like way it's like everything just seems so distant and so far and so difficult to reach to I tried getting my cell phone one of the cell phones I noticed it was in front of me I tried reaching out to grab it to call for help I could not reach it to save my life. I couldn't reach it. 
hit the call button on the elevator, the help button, hit that call button on the elevator. Somebody came on, try to explain to the person, listen, I'm in so-and-so building. Um, I got on the 19th floor, the elevator fell with me and I'm hurt. This lady is going to come tell me. And you know what? Thinking about it now, I can't really blame her because as I said, this is something that you see in the movies. You don't see this in real life. What? What, Papa? Anyways, this is something that you see in the movies. You don't see this in real life. So I could understand where she's coming from at this point because she turned and she said to me, she's like, this is impossible. Elevators don't just fall. And I'm like, listen, lady. This one just did, and I'm hurt. You need to get me an ambulance right now. Anyways, um, I s kept s trying to reach for my cell phone. And then I remember that I had my bag on me, so I took the bag off and I threw it over to the phone, trying to shimmer it towards me. Anyways, a few tries, and I got the phone towards me grabbed my phone and the first person I called was my husband. I'm like, oh, baby, this is the situation. I went to my meeting and I had an accident. He fucking freaked out. He's like, are you hurt? Are you okay? Uh, uh, what, what's going on? Like, are you out of the car? I'm like, no, no, no. This wasn't a car accident. The elevator fell with me. And then the phone went dead, I think. I don't know if he freaking dropped the phone. I don't know what happened, but the phone went dead. Anyways, I noticed that on the top of the elevator, there was a security number. So I called the security number and I was speaking to the security, I guess the security guard or whoever it was. And I explained to them the situation. They said to me, okay, well, they could see that the elevator is on the 11th floor. So they're going to call the elevator to come to them. So he said, he started calling the elevator. I guess the elevator wasn't responding. And I, I'm thinking, okay, you know what? Don't mess with this thing because... You're going to press the call button. The elevator is going to go falling again. This time it's not going to stop anywhere. Apart from when it hits the basement. Anyways. Maybe about 20 minutes went by. The ambulance came. They tried to they pried the door open as much as they could. And firefighters came in. They came in. They jumped down in the elevator. Because as I said, the elevator it got stuck between two floors. And there was about this much opening. Right? About that much opening. Anyways, they came in, they assessed my leg, they told me, okay, my knee is shattered. Like, my knee cap came out of place and went to the other side, like, right on the side of my foot. Because I, I was trying to figure it out, like, what the fuck that big bulge was. But then I thought it was just, you know, my bones broken, and at any given time, it's going to push out. The bone's going to come through the skin. Not knowing it was my knee cap that was on the side of my foot. Anyways, they, when they came in and they were assessing my leg, the elevator started making noise again. And I mean, I'm panicking now. I'm like, oh, fuck. There's three people in this fucking elevator. This shit is going to go flying. And we're, all three of us, we're going to die. We're going to die for sure. Oh, hell yes, we're dying for sure. Anyways, they both look at me and they're like, ma'am, I'm sorry, but this is the only way we're going to be able to save your life. This is going to hurt you as much as it hurt, you know, you're hurting right now, but it's going to hurt more. And they're like, count to three. And um, by the time I said one, two, these two little guys, I mean, they can't be more than about, one of them can't be more than about a buck 70 or maybe a buck 50. Two little scrawny guys, God bless their heart, they were really nice, grabbed me and threw me through that little opening. And then they jumped up and helped, one jumped up and helped the other one up. And I'm sitting there waiting to hear the elevator go falling again, but it didn't. During this time, I'm not realizing that when the elevator, I guess this is where I figured out that I might have passed out. When the elevator slammed, everybody from outside kept, came running into the building because they thought there was an explosion outside. And apparently everybody in the building took off outside because they thought, oh my God, somebody is blowing up the building. But anyways, that wasn't the case. Got to the hospital. They had us knock me out again because the pain was so much. It knocked. 
they had us knock me out. Woke up a couple of hours later, my leg was bandaged up. I will add footage of all this at the end of the video so you can see what I'm talking about. I, my foot was bandaged up and everything. Um, I was scheduled for surgery the following, the following day. However, due to COVID at the time, they had us to cancel my surgery. And my surgery was canceled maybe five times after that due to COVID. So if you're not vaccinated yet, go get your vaccine. This COVID thing is not nothing to mess with, guys. I'm just going to throw that in there. So, um, anyways, long story short, yesterday was Tuesday, Tuesday, yeah. So yesterday made one week since I did my knee, uh, right knee reconstruction. So, yeah, that's the reason. And my, me, in my previous video, I stated that I've been in and out of the hospital. And my reason for being in and out of the hospital is because, because of COVID and a lot of surgeries were being canceled and stuff like that. They could not just have my legs sit there like that or else it would seize up. So they had me, they had me doing physio. Uh, I started out doing it three times a week then. Gradually they started doing twice a week until it moved down to once a week. Until Tuesday of last week when I got my almost nine hours surgery. Everything went well. Prognosis is good. And it's going to be a while before I'm fully healed because I have to wait for my operation to heal up. And then I have to wait for the surgeon to give me the go-ahead for me to start physiotherapy again. Once I start physiotherapy again, we all know that's going to be a long way to recovery. But I am glad that I'm alive. I lived through this ordeal. I mean, I never in a million years thought I would have been put in that situation where my life is going to be flashed before my eyes and I thought that my kids were going to have to grow up without me. I am so thankful. I am so grateful to God for being there. Whichever side of the bed that I slept on that night, I am glad I did because I survived this in order to be sitting here right now telling you guys about my experience it's awesome it's awesome it's extremely awesome for me to be here sitting here talking to you guys like this so that is part two to my story as i said before i am going to add some pictures and video a little video of my whole ordeal at the end of this video and as and i'll keep you guys updated as to my progress what i'm doing how physio is coming on how the wound is being healed stuff like that but i'm in good spirits guys because as i said i'm alive and i'm well and i have to be thankful to the almighty for allowing me to be here to sit here and tell you guys about what happened to me on April 29th, 2021. Thanks for watching. Again, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Hit your notification bell so you'll know when I upload another video. I hope you enjoy the video. Thank you.